Hello, my name is Bushra, and this online module is a general overview of the symptoms that you or your loved ones might experience as a result of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, and when it is necessary to seek medical help. The initial signs and symptoms of COPD. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is a disease affecting the airways of the lung, which worsens over time. It affects roughly 6% of adult Canadians and is the fourth leading cause of death worldwide. Due to inflammation, excessive mucus, deterioration, or destruction of healthy lung tissue, the airways become more obstructed. This makes it more challenging for the lungs to participate in respiration by inhaling and exhaling properly. There are several signs and symptoms associated with COPD that manifests as the severity of the disease increases. These include a chronic cough, a cough with a lot of mucus, dyspnea or shortness of breath that can be aggravated with physical exertion, wheezing, and tightness in the chest. So why do symptoms matter? Eventually, as COPD gets worse, so do the symptoms. They become severe enough later on for patients to begin to seek medical assistance. This can include a worsening of the symptoms mentioned on the previous slide or other symptoms such as swelling in the ankles, legs, or feet, weight loss, and weaker muscles. As a result, symptoms matter because they reflect the internal health of your body. By assessing your symptoms comprehensively, your physician can diagnose you with COPD in addition to running some other tests. And by monitoring your symptoms, your physician can determine how your disease is progressing. Symptoms are also important in determining how to manage the illness and recommending treatment plans to help stabilize disease progression or worsening as best as possible. What is an exacerbation? An exacerbation of COPD is an acute flare-up of a patient's respiratory symptoms that is not within the normal expected range for these symptoms. Exacerbations can require immediate medical treatment. Exacerbations require immediate medical treatment, which can include hospitalization. The most common respiratory symptom that worsens during an exacerbation is dyspnea or shortness of breath. Exacerbations can also lead to lower blood oxygen and higher blood carbon dioxide levels which become dangerous for other cells in the body such as the brain. The most common causes of exacerbations include respiratory tract infections that may be caused by viruses or by bacteria or air pollution. However, if you have other health conditions or are presently smoking, you may also experience an increased number of exacerbations. More frequent exacerbations cause higher morbidity higher mortality, a more rapid deterioration of lung function, and decline in overall health. Why report symptoms? Reporting symptoms to your healthcare provider is regularly, regularly is necessary to track the course of your disease. One research study discovered that approximately half of all COPD exacerbations are not reported despite the serious nature of these events. In the majority of cases, when an exacerbation began, patients simply took more medication without consulting a physician or simply rested. However, contacting a physician is necessary to ensure access to appropriate medical care. Sudden, unexpected, or large deteriorations in your health may represent a worsening of your illness, and hence your physician should be informed about your symptoms and any changes. Furthermore, your physician needs accurate and complete information about your symptoms in order to make the best possible recommendations for your health. Information about symptoms is used to design treatment and medication plans, refer you to community health resources, and make decisions about other care you might need to receive. Furthermore, by regularly discussing your symptoms with your doctor, you can obtain information about when your symptoms can become serious or life-threatening and what help you should seek at that time. When to seek urgent help. This slide represents a general overview of some symptoms seen in COPD patients that require urgent medical attention. 
you may have serious or severe symptoms that would require emergency care that may not be on this list. Please consult your physician to determine when you should seek urgent or, em or emergency care for your illness and when you should visit a hospital. These symptoms can include, but are not limited to, difficulty catching your breath, difficulty speaking, blue or gray lips, blue or gray fingernails, lack of mental alertness, increased heartbeat, worsening symptoms that are not responding to treatment. In these cases and any others recommended by your physician, please seek emergency medical attention. Why seek help? While some symptoms may seem as though they can be self-managed, seeking help is important when your symptoms get worse or when your physicians recommend it. Difficulty breathing during an exacerbation, for instance, can be life-threatening if not treated. Exacerbations can also be indicators of much more serious lung problems such as pulmonary embolisms. A pulmonary embolism is when an artery in the lung is blocked by fat, air, cancerous cells, or blood clot, and it requires hospitalization. Furthermore, if you have other health conditions that are often found occurring alongside COPD, such as lung cancer, cardiovascular disease, or strokes, a worsening of your symptoms may represent a complication with one of these diseases. Exacerbations increase mortality during the time period they occur in and afterward, and the presence of other illnesses can worsen the prognosis or outcomes for the patient. Therefore, seeking care appropriately allows you to receive medications and therapies to help manage the exacerbations and reduce the risk of death. Some of these interventions, such as oxygen therapy or ventilatory assistance, might only be available at a hospital. Challenges associated with seeking help. Patients may feel reluctant, uncertain, or uncomfortable with seeking urgent medical attention for their exacerbations or to discuss their health. For instance, one study interviewed patients with advanced COPD who experienced severe dyspnea or severe shortness of breath. Patients did not always contact it, did not always contact their physician as they experienced challenges with travel, did not wish to inconvenience their physician, or did not have a good working patient-physician relationship. Patients also feel hopeless about their disease are scared about the future or hospitalization, or worry about being negatively perceived by their doctor, or in some cases, feel that their physician may abandon them as their disease advances. Other worries include feeling that physicians could not help, not wanting to receive too much information about the disease, or not knowing when it would be acceptable to seek medical assistance. However, despite these fears, it is important to note that physicians can help intervene and suggest courses of action to improve your quality of life. Furthermore, speaking with a physician to determine what symptoms or experiences are abnormal can also help direct your care. Please note, you may have other symptoms or health needs that are not listed here. You should regularly update your health care provider with a comprehensive overview of your symptoms, side effects, and any changes or concerns regarding your health status. Discussing painful or unpleasant medications and health experiences with your physician can help them work with you towards your better health and comfort. Your health care providers are here to support and care for you and the information they receive allows them to do that in the best way possible. Please contact your physician if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you for listening.